Hello YouTube, it's another All About Max video, and today I am using Cam Studio, and this is my first time using it, and uh, it's I'm gonna see how it works out. So I'm gonna show you how to download, not Cam Studio, I'll show that in another video, but I'm gonna show you how to download a cool program for the Mac, so you can run Windows on your Mac Power PC, not Intel, but Power PC. So. This program's called Q. Um, I'll show you right now. So this is Q right here. So Q is a um, emulator for where if you um, wanna, ha if you have a CD for Windows, you can just put it in here and run your Windows on your Mac. Um. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let's see here. I'll show you how to do it in a second. Well, hold on. Well, what you're gonna do is, anyways, you're gonna download this. Just go to Google and like type in Q and then download it for the Mac. But once you get out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do New Guest PC. Then you're gonna do whatever you wanna name it. You can you can do the operating system, Live Vista. You can pick whatever one. It doesn't really matter, but you can do whatever you want. And then you create PC. Then you'll type in whatever name you want, so I'll just put in Sam Pool. Oh, what the fuck? Sample. So you can like do all these file crap and all that. You can set up how much RAM you want to put on your PC. Yeah, I usually put 700, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's like all the same for some reason. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Then you can choose if you want to have a web server. So yeah, and then once you're doing done that, you just do create PC, which I'm not gonna do because I've already created like ten. So okay, that's basically how you use this. But now I'm gonna show you how to download a Windows operating system if you don't have a disk, which includes the original product key and all that. So it's pretty cool. So Windows NT is the one you can download. Um. There's a kid's YouTube channel, just go to his, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's called, like, Zach something, one, two, three, four, or like, something like that, and then go, he has, like, a video of, like, doing this, and then just go to download his little link there, it's pretty cool, so then once you get that downloaded, um, just create the PC, but there's something special you have to do with that, you have to go to new guest PC, well, when you're, just say, like, when you get it done, all done, go to your whatever click on customize which is your setting kind of edit tool then go to hardware then go down to cd-rom then um go choose a disk image um and then just go to your windows nt folder and then go to windows nt dot and windows nt 4 dot iso then open that then it should go into there and then you update your PC okay so all this is demo well I guess I'll show you how to do it well nah I'll do it in a different video because I'm running out of time kind of well nah I'll just do it I have nothing else to do okay so let's go to new guest PC and create a new PC and then I'll say whatever you want to do um, random Okay, and just click Q standard guest, then go to hardware, then change your change where it is where it says CD ROM, change your disk image to win win nt dot four I O I S O then open that up and it should be good. Then you create it and then it will show down here. Let's see where it went. Okay, it's right here. So then what you do is you press the little play button. So here we go. Oh crap. Okay. I gotta like get the camera in somewhere. Okay. So now it's setting up your Windows NT. It kinda takes a while. I mean it's not that bad, it's like a five minute thing. Okay. Well, actually, I'm not going to show you to install it. I'm pretty sure you can do that on your own. But you do whatever I just did right there. 
Okay, I already have XP installed on it, so I'll show you what XP looks like. Okay, and I'm gonna go full screen on this. Okay. Okay, I'm in full screen right now. It might be black, but okay, here we go. It's loading up. And this is real. It's not screened or anything. Hold on, let me get out of full screen. Okay, this has not been, like, mirrored or anything. It's not like I'm hooked up to a different monitor or anything else. It's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, it takes a while because XP is, like, really slow on this computer. Okay, um... Let's see. Yeah, it's still taking a pretty long time. Okay, hold on. It'll eventually start. Okay, here we go. And it'll ask you, like, start Windows 9 and it'll just do, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, just, uh, yeah. Now it takes kind of a while to do. So, yeah. And um, please review. I mean, please, um, send me comments. Um, please give me five stars. I would pretty, I'd appreciate those five stars. Um, subscribe to my channel and watch one of my videos. I guess I should probably say that at the end of the video, but whatever. So yeah, and tell me how you like Cam Studio, and if you like it so much, I'll make a review on how to install that. It's pretty simple, and you had to do some special settings actually to make it work on YouTube, which is really hard. Okay, XP should be like loading up in a second. Okay, here it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna go into full screen now. Okay, so this is Windows XP Professional, and uh, yeah. I'm actually running out of time right now, so I'll probably just exit out of this. And I'll probably do a later review. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. So subscribe to my channel and be awesome. You deserve it.